Hi, welcome to Flash for the Nine Geek. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to create a looping background. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here is our superhero. He's flying through the clouds. And you've probably seen this type of effect done. A lot of flash ads, uh, banners do it. I'm going to show you quickly how to do it. Um, let me close this out. If you would like any of the files for this project, just go to nongeekbooks.com and click on the Flash Tutorials button and that will take you to a page that has all the, all the files. First thing we want to do is we want to open up the library and I have four images here. I'm going to drag the cloud image over and you can either use mine or you can create your own in Photoshop. Just make a really wide uh, image of a cloud and that's what I did here. And I want this to be aligned to the right side of the stage. So I'm going to click on my Align panel. If you don't see yours, just go to Window, Align. And we want it to be aligned centered vertically and to the right of the stage. So we click on Two Stage, click on Center Vertically, and then Flush Right. And there we go. Now we're going to quickly make this a movie clip. We're going to modify, convert to symbol, we'll name this clouds. Next we'll double click on this. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to click this once. We're going to go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste in place. And we're going to drag this new copied image over to the left. Now you'll notice that when we line it up, with our first image, it's not very seamless. There's like a little, uh, there's a little break here. So what we need to do is click on the copied image, go up to modify, transform, and flip horizontal. So now you can tell it's seamless. So we're going to do this one more time. We're going to click the first image, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and we're going to drag this image straight left. Just keep dragging it to the left and line it up with the second image. So now we have one really wide cloud image and it's pretty seamless. Next go to your timeline, click on frame 350, right click and go to insert keyframe. Next right click on any frame between the keyframes and go to Create Motion Tween. If you're on Flash CS4, click on Classic Tween. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to view the rulers. We do that by going up to View and Rulers. And you should now see your rulers on the left and at the top. Click on the left ruler and drag a ruler over so it's flush with the right edge of the first cloud image. So there it is. It's a green line. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to zoom out to about 50% so you can see more of the stage. And now we're going to hold down shift and drag this cloud image straight right until the break between the second and third cloud image is lined up with that green ruler. So that little break between the second and third cloud image should be lined up perfectly with a green ruler. Now if you go up to Control Test Movie, there it is. And if your animation is a little bit choppy, go to Modify Document and make sure your frame rate is around 30. Now if you go to Control Test Movie again, there you go. It should look a little bit better now. Now. The next thing we're going to do is go back to scene one and we're going to open up our library, go to window, library, and we're going to drag over our superhero. And before we drag him over, we need to make a new layer. We don't want to put him on the same layer as the clouds. So make a new layer and name it superhero and drag our superhero over. 
and there he is. I'm actually going to zoom in on this so you can see it better. And he's kind of getting lost. So we need to make the clouds behind him a little brighter so our superhero kind of pops a little bit more. So click on the cloud movie clip, go to properties, go to color, go to brightness, and take the brightness up a little bit of the background clouds. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some smoke to our superhero. So we're going to click on the superhero, go to modify, convert to symbol, select movie clip and name him uh, superhero. We're going to double click on him and we're going to name, we're going to make a new layer, name it smoke. And we're going to open up our window library, grab our smoke image, and drag it over. So there it is. Uh, you really can't see it, so what we need to do is we need to take this cloud image, we need to convert it to a movie clip. And we're going to name it smoke. So now we're going to click on this movie clip. We're going to go to color, brightness, take down the brightness a little bit. Now it's starting to look like smoke. Now, what we need to do now is maybe make a little bit smaller. Right about there. We're going to double click on it and now we're going to animate it. So right click on frame 40, go to insert a keyframe, select any frame between the two keyframes and go to clat, create motion tween. And we want this smoke to end up off stage to the right. And we probably want it to get a little bigger. And click on the cloud image on frame 40, and we're going to take down the opacity to zero. So there we go. And if we go to control test movie, you can see the smoke coming over coming out of our superhero's jetpack. Problem is our superhero's head is getting cut off. So let's go back to scene one. Turn the eyeball off on layer one. And there you go. That's why his head's getting cut off. We'll put him here. And now we'll go to control test movie. And there you go. Now on the final animation, it's going to have the propeller spinning. And I'm going to have foreground clouds. Probably not enough time in this video to do that. If you want to see the whole lesson, uh, I have it online at nongeekbooks.com. Um, so let's do, you know what, how much time do we have? Let's do one more thing before I wrap up. We'll click on frame 340, insert a frame, our superhero, create a keyframe on th frame 340, insert a keyframe, right click any frame between the two keyframes, go to create motion tween and then select maybe frame 200 and move our superhero to the left a little bit and now we we'll go to control test movie and now our superhero is kind of moving around the around the sky a little bit whoa he's really <laughs> I think he just disappeared off the stage but you can play around with this um, if you want to learn any more at all, just go to nongatebooks.com. You'll see this full tutorial online, and uh, you'll be able to do a lot more cool things with this. So anyway, that's the lesson. Hope you learned something. Thanks again for watching.